Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. So we've got another image sent in by Eye of She. This one right here, she sent me the raw image and we're going to be trying to recreate the exact same edit. Her style, there's pretty much natural tones in the image, but whatever is naturally in the image, she exaggerates and brings out those tones. So if she's in a cool environment, she adds in a lot of blues, green environment, there's a lot of greens. Also, there is a pretty decent amount of fades. So we're going to have to roll off those highlights roll off those shadows as for texture there's a bit of sharpening there so we'll bring up the sharpening there's a few filters to try to make our lighting more dynamic so go give her a follow down in the description guys i'll leave her links down there let her know you found her through this tutorial though just leave her a comment or something like that head over to her website as well she's got some presets for you guys there's also some tips in terms of traveling and shooting that you guys can also learn so links down in the description to that guys and if you guys want to go the next step with me in terms of learning photo editing if you want to really excel your learning sign up to Instagram Pro Editor guys it's where I'm spending most of my time I'm pretty much just creating the course I wish I had and it's where you get all my raw images it's where guest editors are coming on teaching how they get their unique style you get the raw download for each guest editor as well we've got about five coming in at the moment we've got Maddie Snaps that just joined up just working really hard to make it the number one photo editing course in the world guys so I hope to see a few of you in there i'll keep banging out these tutorials but they're a bit slow at the moment because i'm putting all my time into the course let's get into this tutorial guys give her a follow down in the description her links are down there and let's get into this one okay so first off i'll just show you the cropping so if i just reset this edit as you can see we're cropping right in and that is four by five so just coming back right let's get into this edit so just drop the highlights shadows so we're going to do quite a bit in the curve. So this doesn't matter heaps right now. Uh, we'll just drop the exposure. We'll come back and tweak most of the stuff. So we'll just jump straight into curves now. Right guys, so that's the curves done and it's just a simple S curve in the red, green and blue channel. Uh, there's no real color adjustment, so if I turn this on and off, it's pretty much just adding contrast in these color curves. They're pretty balanced. And then this one, there's just going to be a slight roll off to those whites. It sort of just gives that slight fade, gives a nice gradual roll off to the whites and highlights there. Let's carry on. Let's do clarity. I kind of want to bring clarity down. Uh, we'll keep it there for now. I might come back to it. Up here again, shadows, down a touch, whites, we look pretty good. She has a lot of vibrance in her images, so I might bump up the vibrance, but we get way too saturated. So down here, I might just quickly drop all of these, and then we definitely want lots of vibrance. Let's go with that. Let's just bring these up a bit. And let's start doing some colors with the HSL. Okay, so we want nice warm tones. Uh, the main color is going to be the blues, so let's start with them. We want a nice green to our blues. Uh, aquas, it's hard to tell the difference between blues and aquas. Let's go this way. Let's drop the saturation of those, definitely. Aquas can come down too. Now the oranges, we just want them to look nice and rich. Yellows, let's just go a touch towards an orange here. So greens are affected by your yellows a lot. And then skin tones, we could be a bit more red. Skin tones and greens as well. I feel like we could go this way. This is a tiny bit of purples magenta. Let's work our way to saturation. So I might just actually first bring up the luminance of the reds that affects skin tones a lot. I feel like we just want them to pop out a bit more. You could come in with a brush, but I might just brighten. Same with her, brighten, but then we get a bit dull. So we might have to bring up the saturation. Let's bring up the yellows. We really want them to be nice and vibrant. Actually bring them down. Greens are about good. And then you just want to bring purple and magenta down roughly in line with everything else. Quite often you've got n none of those images, I mean none of those colors in the image, but you just want to bring them down roughly in line. Okay, luminance, so the brightness of colors. Let's deepen some of these. So those blues, I want to get them nice and deep. It really brings out the color. Aqua. 
greens and probably say their yellows will just get a bit of a pop sort of adds to the vibrance gives a real shine to your image when you add luminance to the yellows okay so i think we're looking good now one thing i'm not sure about is the clarity because when i edit i like to make my screen nice and small and it helps me like judge the colors much better when it's nice and small i think i should add in clarity but when i've got it up and big like this i think not use it but we'll run with that for now 14 it's sharpening again this is a screenshot off instagram so it's kind of hard to tell she's got quite a sharp looking image we'll go with something like that for now maybe clarity up even more let's, let's try 20 let's make the lighting a bit more dynamic so i've done something that you guys haven't seen yet and it is adding in lots of filters and i've already done the edits to them but i'll just show you what I've done here. So O off and on to show you where it's affecting. And I just added some contrast to the corner here and that's pretty much gonna darken it. And it's just gonna help our eye get drawn up to the subject here by darkening everything down here. And overall it's darker, so it's gonna darken most of the area within this filter. So I like contrast rather than exposure in this situation because it will hold the whites nice and bright up here we're just going to darken this area create contrast and that's going to help guide our eye towards the subject in the middle our eye sort of naturally starts up in the top left and runs down to the right so we want to help frame the image like that with filters and this one up here i just wanted to give a nice glow so um negative nine d haze sort of adds that nice softness to the top right where the light is coming in and then up here i just wanted to bring out the detail and the trees and that up here so we've got 13 contrast bit of clarity to bring them out a bit more and then sharpening can be left at zero for there and we are looking pretty good i think we've got some brushes so this one's just brushing over press o over all the water here we want to make like all the ripples in the water stand out a bit more so pressing o again get rid of that so we brought up the clarity you can see what that does it slightly brings them out uh, sharpening bring them out a bit more contrast and then i brought down the exposure just to deepen the blues there and then we just have a filter right here in the middle again uh inverted so we are affecting the inside of the circle and what i did is just brighten it a bit but when you brighten things they get washed out sometimes so you gotta up the contrast as well so up the contrast which sort of darkens the darks brightens the brights and then a touch of sharpening as well okay so once you're happy with your edit we've obviously got some photoshop to do so what i do is just come up to help and i type in photoshop it might be cut off from the recording but all i'm doing is typing in photoshop into help i'm on mac and then what pops up edit in adobe photoshop okay so now in photoshop we've got our layers over here what we'll do is just duplicate this layer by picking it up and dropping it on here now we've got a duplicate and we'll work on the duplicate so we'll come over to the clone stamp tool which is this one and what we want to do make it a touch bigger and we want to sample an area by holding option sample here and then click and we want to click a few times because we've got the opacity a little bit low and i'm just going to really quickly do it i'm not going to fuss too much i'm not going to try to get it too perfect Okay, so I just really, really quickly did that. It's a bit blurry there, but that's how you use the clone stamp tool. And then once you're done, you just exit out of that file. Let's go save. Let's go back into Lightroom. And here it is back in Lightroom and all your adjustments are baked in now. So make sure you do that before you take it into Photoshop that you're happy with all your settings. And yeah, that's how you do it, guys okay so that wraps up that tutorial guys go give her a follow down in the description her links are down there and please let her know that you found her through this tutorial so guys i hope to see a few of you guys in the course it's going to be the number one photo editing course it's going to be really focused on creating styles really learning how to control lightroom 
to create a style you like so mixing colors creating contrast everything i know and everything other creators know as well because they're going to be submitting their tutorials as well so yeah i'm going to still do these tutorials but if you guys want to go the next step i'm making the resource i wish i had to get to where i am much faster so really hope to see you guys in there we've had really awesome feedback it's really exciting so i hope you guys join up join the facebook community we've got going over there and that's about it for me guys i'm trying to incorporate a bit more into this channel so i'm posting a bit of video stuff um you guys will get a better sense of what i'm trying to achieve if i just post like some things i want to post because i get a bit robotic in these tutorials and it's quite hard to let you guys know what i'm up to or anything like that so i think posting stuff i want to post and pretty passionate about video as well i just want to give you guys the inside of what i'm trying to achieve on this channel and it's pretty much to become a travel content creator obviously at the moment this channel is about getting the skills to do that so leave a like leave a comment guys and i'll catch you in the next one